and amen. Thanks for praying. Um, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for making it. Thanks, and thanks, uh, Pastor. Uh, thank you, beauty. Um, we're talking about what's in the name, still looking at six one of Daniel chapter one. And uh, what we began to look at, we began to look beyond the questions we asked ourselves. And we were seeing that the label, I did throw some things on the chat, so I'm reading from the chat here. Uh, we said the name is a label, all right? And, uh, we said the name is a label, it defines, it defines places, it defines boundaries, and more importantly, it is a memorial. Uh, that's probably the most powerful part of the name. Uh, what's a memorial, right? When God, God himself loves a memorial and uh, he loves memorial and gives us memorial because we need memorial, right? Because the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Uh, a memorial is something that uh, it puts us, it's a, something that celebrates something about God. Um, all the names of God in the Bible are memorials, right? You know, uh, it was God having an encounter with somebody and that person then celebrates that name. Like with, with, um, with uh, Abraham's uh, uh, Israel, Israel's mother, he, she gave God the God that she is, right? Abraham, Jehovah, Jireh, uh, we have uh, Jehovah El Shaddai. All of those are memorials because they were, they were named because someone had an encounter with God and they gave that name to God. Right, so once what God had done before, they kept it before their forehead, their, their forehead, so that it begins to affect their lives. Because what you remember affects your life. What you remember controls your life. Unfortunately for us as human beings, we seem to remember the wrong things and get the right things. It's very easy to, to remember all the odds of the past, our mistakes, we so easily forget the lessons we're supposed to have learned from them. And that was basically the between the Israelites and Moses, right? Well, the Bible says that the Israelites knew the hand of God. Moses knew his heart was possible because Moses took all the things that God did and saw what God was and what God did. And that those became a memorial that, that affected and aligned his life. We're talking yesterday also, that's what differentiated Joshua and Caleb from the other 10, 10, 10 um, spies, right? And we, we talked also about Jesus Christ giving us an example of the importance of, of memorial. And we looked at Matthew 16, verse 9 and 10, you know, when he was talking to his disciples and expecting them to have learned something from the miracle he did of, of feeding 5,005, you know? Um, just as well as you did this, you know, the word to remember is in the Old Testament is, is, is a Hebrew root word, you know, uh, which is called zaka. I pulled this from an old study at had done. I probably, I probably throw the study on the, on the WhatsApp group, you know, but I, I done an extensive study on the word remember. You know, and, and the word, the Hebrew word is, is, is the word zaka, right? It's spelled Z A K A R. Now that Z A W Z A R. None of these I've thrown on the chat, reading straight from the chat. So you can think I'm looking at, you know, and, and, and when you look at that word zaka, which means to remember, you see the what a name carries, right? Because the word zaka it simply means to burn an incense, it means to be earnest, it means to, to, to be a male or to make mention of a thing or be mindful of recount. When you follow expansion that word, it means to commemorate, to celebrate, or to stop. So when I give a name, what I'm actually doing when I'm doing giving a name is that I am commemorating a particular event, I'm celebrating a particular event or occasion. By calling a particular event occasion. Instead, now last week, I came to right? 
uh, the word Aki is a strong man, it's a warrior, right? So when you give someone a, a name Aki, you are typically talking about a warrior, a strong man, right? My middle name is Aki, so I mean the warrior has come home, right? So that's the label I was given, you know? A lot of these names mean that the person is speaking, it doesn't meaning of it and the belief in that meaning like for my daughter i gave my first daughter valerie you know just to speak the word big a valley a who has overcome right that meaning has to be in my mind i'm calling her for you to be able to speak and be and i'm going to stop there and we'll continue up a week um, uh, uh, let me start with you. And you have two special names for your two boys. So tell us about the names of your boys. Oh, well, well, well I, didn't, I didn't give them their names, actually. God, God actually um, told us the names of the boys. And um, well, yeah, before we ever had the first one, he, he, told, us the he told my husband, not me, he told my husband the name of Jonathan because of, of the history that I had with the multiple, you know, the multiple miscarriages that I had. Um, yeah. So Jonathan, he gave us the name Jonathan while before I was even pregnant for him because I was so depressed after the last miscarriage. And um, I never checked the meaning until the next, when I was eventually pregnant for him. And my husband said, well, Jonathan has come. I'm like, how did you know? He said, well, it's a boy because God already told us his name is Jonathan. So that's when I went to check the meaning and the meaning of Jonathan means God's gracious gift. And so, and so that's Jonathan. Then Azariah too, God gave us the name of Azariah. The meaning of Azariah is the one whom God helps, the one that God succor. So the good thing about, I mean, <laughs> we didn't get to choose the name, but God had had them in mind and God already told us who they are. So Jonathan is God's gracious gift and is a gift not just to us but to his generation and to the world. And um, Dazorah is the one whom Yahweh succors. So for all of his life, you know, he needs to remember that, that he's the one that God helps. God, God is going to help him and God is going to succor him in everything that he does. So, so those are the names of the two boys. <laughs> Awesome, awesome names, awesome names. But the power of it is that you remember the stories and you call them. And when they're old enough, let them understand the name so that they can see it. Because what you see, that affects you. And once you are called, if that is what is being celebrated, commemorated, that becomes to be the heaven over the person, right? And, and that's what God wants. That is not just to give the name is to have that 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 as inspiration each time you call it you know and let the person also who is bearing it know it so that the power thereof is fully evident in in, in their lives yeah uh who, who is going to tell us about the, the children yes i i named uh, my daughter theodora Theodora means God's gift. God's gift. And uh, she loves the name so much. And uh, she's here for like me, but she prioritized on the first, the first name, Theodora, which means God's gift. And the second one was, I, I, I mean, his name, Isaac, means laughter. Laughter. Yeah. And so we've been loving things, and uh, God, God has been gracious to us. And then we have also received a lot of gifts from God. Like the last one was named Joseph. The Lord had it. The Lord Amen. had it. Because uh, as at the time we we brought him in, I mean, I mean uh, we thought uh, no more children, you know, we're okay, we're fine. You know, but God, God had it. So we, 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 named, we named him because we're not expecting to think of children again. We're, we're okay. We're both okay with uh, Theodora and uh, Isaac. But the Lord had it. So that was God. He had it. And um, yeah. it was uh, also the Isaac came by God too. I had a clear court, I had a clear dream. God speaks to me mainly from dreams. 
uh, sometimes from other ways, but majorly when it's serious matter, uh, it's not because it's serious matter with me, it gives me dreams. So it gave me a dream and uh, talked to me when we the naming ceremony and I pronounced that name uh, Isaac. So when I woke up, I remember, and uh, I know that uh, it's going to be a boy and uh, it's going to be Isaac. So that was purely God. But uh, the first one that can't say purely God, I, I know, came to my heart and I named them like that. The last one, I named him after the way it came because we have already ended the issue of our children and then the Lord had it. So that's <laughs> how it went. Yeah. And we we'll receive additional things anyway. We we'll receive additions after we leave my uh, process. A lot of additions, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was the opening child. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Did you want to celebrate your children's name before we close? Uh, the man says, so it's story Buku. Give us a short answer. Okay, the short version, well, the first girl came after eight and a half years of waiting. Yes. So uh, my husband named her Sarah and and uh, Arian Luakin. So uh, this, the testimony of the Lord never finishes, you know, because we had a whole lot of testimonies, uh, you know, a whole lot of um, trials and uh, that mm -hmm. that trying uh, during those periods. So she was a testimony, and uh, he, he, uh, Sarah, I think, is princess. Uh, I think I don't know the. So then uh, I named her Augusta. That is, she's God's property. You know, she didn't yeah. come by the power of man or by the making of man, uh, according to the according to John chapter one verse twelve. That those that are born not of the will of the flesh because we tried yeah. we tried all that we could but she came by god by the power of god so it was god's own miracle so i i named her augusta she belongs to god that's her own uh, new name then the second one came three years after i had a miscarriage a year after but the second one came a boy and my husband called him a son. That's Ruben. <laughs> and this one is a son. And uh, I also gave him Emmanuel. Uh, Emmanuel, Amen. God is with us. God is with us. And we stopped. Amen. And we're happy. We're happy we have a girl and a boy. <laughs> but just like uh, well, Fula said, after the third year again, the boy, another one came. Awesome. So it was like an icing. We were not expecting it, and um, so he is called Philip. Philip, uh, I don't actually know the name of Philip, but <laughs> I was not feels he's somebody that is an evangelist that you know, God is, yeah, uh, so that God is going to use him as somebody that's under uh, that's uh, uh, that filled with the Holy Spirit and is going to do wonders for God. So I named him. Um, uh, uh, the I named him. Uh, <laughs> it's you know we have many names and Yoruba names for them. So yeah, uh, Tiolua, Tiolua La She. Uh, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I think what's that? Uh, the, the other uh, word God, God, is God, God, and then Tiolua La What's that? God is the event. God, God has the final say. Hey, that's what that's that's <laughs> yes. So, and that's the point that we retired. <laughs> retired. Okay. Awesome. awesome. I mean, the, the beauty is, I mean, the, it has carries power. But the power so I call him. Head. I call him Go peace ahead. of mind. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> which is Benin, right? Was it Benin? Yeah, so it's, Benin, it's right? uh, it, Benin. Yes, the Benin. Yeah, that's if uh, that's the peace of God. So oh, he's a uh, peace woman. <laughs> So those are the testimonies. Uh, so like I said, if I have to tell the story, we will not live here. So maybe that's for another day. 
Yeah. As we got yes, one, like, God, God, loves, God loves testimonies. God loves us celebrating this person. The Bible says that praise is commonly. And that's what a name does. A name, a name has stories behind it. It, 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 it it's an extolling of, of God. But it's a portion. And that's what it's supposed to be. And, uh, and that's what it's supposed to be. Open heaven over our children, over our degeneration come. Uh, but I've taken too much of your time. I need to let you go. All right. So we'll see up with God willing about next week by God's grace. We'll continue up our week. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And we'll, open, we'll, we'll meet on Sunday, God willing. Okay, Uncle. Right. Have a good day then. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks.